Hi Cancer, it's Jess of Bahati Life. If you don't know, I am the creator of Bahati Life Apothecary and today we are going to be doing your reading for the month of April. So I hope that this reading finds you well. You're probably wondering what these two cards are in the center of the deck and for you so far we have Empress and Eight of Wands. So I'm going to put a pin in that and I'll re revisit that. But first I'm going to say that this reading is for your highest and greatest good. Um, if you're watching this at any point in the year or a year and it's not April of 2020, that's fine. This reading is timeless. It's what you need to hear right now in this moment, what you need to receive. I am going to focus, hyper-focus on, so we have the Tower card and we have the King of Cups. I am going to focus on your personal life, what you need to receive from Spirit, the Divine, um, as far as guidance, clarity, insight, and direction. But I am also going to have a second spot. Towards the very end of this reading, we're going to be focusing on love, the love life, your love life, and your relationships. Because you guys have been asking for that, so I will be giving that to you. Um, this month and hopefully maybe we'll do it again in the future. Also, we have Three of Pentacles and Ten of Swords. Three of Pentacles has been showing up for a lot of the signs. So I'm not surprised to see it, sh it show up for you. But really, what I'm getting from that is collaboration, working together. After everything that has been happening, everything that's been going on cancer in the world in your world because as above so below we're all impacted and influenced by the same energies it just kind of expresses itself in different ways depending on our chart and depending on what's going on in our lives so this is what I'm seeing for you cancer let's see if I'm picking up on any vibes initially nope I'm not. I feel very open. I feel very, very open. Very, very intuitively open and energetically open. Cancers, you guys have gone through the, the, the ringer. So I think that's why you're just like, Jess, tell me anything. I don't even care. <laughs> I get it. Okay. Wow, Cancer. Hmm. That escalated. So we have, wow. We have Two of Cups, um, it's reversed, but that's okay. The Judgment card and also the Star card. We have Eight of Cups at the top, Queen of Swords, and Ace of Pentacles at the very top. Um, for those of you guys that are wanting to see the root of your reading, we have Two of Cups again reversed, and Judgment and the Star card. Then we have Seven of Swords. Everyone is getting the same cards. This is showing me very clearly that there's something going on energetically. Okay, Seven of Swords, Knight of Cups, and Queen of Pentacles. I'll give you the full reading later, but I know some of you guys are very interested. We also have Ace of Cups reversed, Nine, I'm sorry, Six of Wands reversed, and Page of Swords. This card has been showing up a lot. The center of your reading King of Pentacles reversed, Two of Wands reversed, and then we have Six of Pentacles, the Chariot reversed, and the Queen of Wands. So, let me say this, that you're not the only one. All signs have been going through the ringer. Cancer, you have been under the most heat, the most pressure, um, under the most influence. There's been this major transformative shift that's been happening in the planets globally. Cancer, I'm almost getting a sense that you have been, it's all been in your belly. It's almost as if you've been carrying the entire world here in your belly, just kind of digesting everything. It comes from your emotional space. It comes from your heart. It comes from your one of the cardinal signs. So you feel things, what other people are going through around you, what's going on in the world, you feel it as if it was your own, as if it was your own issues. Like you can feel it in your heart. You can feel it in your stomach, in your gut, in your belly. 
in your chest, all of that, it's, it's felt. Not only is this global, but it's in your personal life. It's been a lot. It has been a lot. The Queen of Wands here, the Judgment card at the base of this, the Star card at the base of this, and the two, even the two of cups reversed, my love. The word that's coming through to me for you is mastery. You have learned to decipher and to decode, and you have used that energy, your awareness, your wisdom, your heart, your passion to ignite even deeper change. Whether you realize it, whether you don't, Cancer, you have been on the front lines, even though you're a queen or a king and you should have been protected, you've been on the front lines and almost you've been absorbing it. Um, again, this is not just the external world, it's you also have to factor in your personal life, your personal battles, your personal trials and tribulations, but also what's going on around you. For April, Cancer, you are really even more so stepping into a space of leadership. Um, I'm seeing this with the Queen of Swords. People don't know how much people don't know how much you feel because all they see is you stepping up and saying this is what we have to do this is what needs to be done let's do it who can do it who's with me I'm really getting this strong sense of leadership energy around you where regular leaders or regular people that you would go to for help and advice and counsel it might have twisted around they might have been coming to you for advice and counsel they might have been coming to you for for clarity and direction and um, motivation like yeah, that's that's what it is that I'm getting. And Cancer, for you, I'm getting this sense of um, you saying to yourself from your heart space, listen, I'm going to also take over the reins and, and, and the control of my life. It's not just going to be what's going on for everyone else. It's going to be what I need, what where we're going, where we're headed, what we're leaving behind, what we're surrendering. What well, we have to sacrifice, we I'm leading the revolution. I'm leading this. Um, you have done a lot of energy work. You've it's not even energy. It's in your heart, but it's also what you what are what's real, like what's in the environment, facts, information, and I feel as though you haven't gotten nearly as much credit that you deserve, Cancer, as far as how much of a support you've been for other people. Even people, it's, it's almost like you, you've almost given your, your work, your, the, what you have done, you almost give it to someone else and be like, oh, he did it. Like, no, Cancer, you did it. Like, it was you. Without him, it, without you, that wouldn't have been possible. They wouldn't have been able to do what... They did without you. There's just no way. You. The word is prevail. We. I did it because we had to prevail. I, I did it because we had to move past this. I did it because this needed to be done. Um, so Cancer, for the month of April, this is really taking a step back and hearing and seeing all of what you've done. And there's this healthy sense of... Um, private balance, but public demonstration. So privately, you really, you have to really kind of disconnect from the, from the rest of the world. You have to disconnect from the news, disconnect from people, disconnect from your friends, disconnect from your partnership. Um, I'm seeing you resting. I don't see the four of swords here. Four of swords is usually the card of rest, but I'm seeing you really resting and healing and nourishing your body by Maybe it's like you you tell people that you're sleeping, but you're really just lying in your bed and flicking through your phone or listening to a meditation or whatever. Um, Cancer, you are in the middle of a total revelation. All of this inf all of this stuff is coming through. It's not over yet. Um, you're you're getting so much awakening. You're getting so much knowledge, so much information, and you're just digesting it. It brings me to like almost like Virgos where. Virgos digest information 
See, at the base of your reading is Six of Swords. You're helping people to move forward. You're helping yourself to move forward. But it's you, there's this like process here. When the Judgment card comes, it blows its horn and everything that brought us to this point gets shoved in our faces and, it, and we have to see it for what it is and then we decide. Cancer, that's where you're at in the month of April. You say, I couldn't count on them to do this. I couldn't count on her to do this. I couldn't count on him. I had to do it. And with that, I take the reins. I call the shots. I lead us into healing. I lead myself into healing. I lead myself into a better future, a future that I can count on, that I can create, that I can invest in, that I can build upon, but something has to be left dead and dormant. Not everything can come with you into the future, okay? Um, I'm getting a, with the Knight of Cups here, you will get offers. I don't see that you're going to be alone. I just feel like no one can really match your energy. Um, there's a really strong potential for you to link up with other female sources or a female mentor. Normally, I don't want to narrow it and say specifically that it's a female be just because I see the queen here, but I genuinely feel as though it's a female. I feel like it's a, a mentor, a guide, a professional, someone who can help you and will give to you and support you and give you information to help you to get there, to get to this goal. The other thing that I'm getting a sense of is take your time. Do not rush to the final to the final goal, to the final destination. You absolutely must take your time. You must explore every option. You must feel everything out. Again, I'm seeing private, like restorative energy and public demonstration. So there's this like space where you have to take really time for yourself and then you come out and you lead it. You lead it, you're a ruler, you're a leader. I don't see you relying on other people to do for you what needs to be done. There's going to be people to help you, but they're not going to do it for you, if that makes any sense. And the same should be for for you, for others. You can help people, but you can't pull them with you if they don't have what it takes. Um, there's this healing. It's a global healing. It's an energetic healing. Cancer, it just happens. You just happen to be the one who's almost like a filter right now. That's why you have to take a lot of time for yourself because you're feeling it in your heart and in your energy. Like I said in the beginning of this reading, it's not just global. It's also things that are going on in your personal life. It feels like the world. It feels very heavy. It feels very like the whole world is happening here. I don't think that, I feel like, I don't think that it will be, again, you doing everything because there's a lot of people who will give into you. They, I'm almost seeing like baskets, like baskets of fruit or baskets of nourishment, things that they're like, here, you're going to need this. Like, thank you. <laughs> um, that's how serious it is. Like, it's, you know, people really are supporting you and being like, you're going to need this along your journey. You're going to need this, you know, or maybe you make it for yourself, these, these nourishment Baskets. I don't know why I'm seeing a basket or getting a basket. This um, Knight of Cups specifically, I just feel like it's a basket, like a basket, uh, like a gift basket or um, even alcohol, like wine, things to help you to relax and then you, but not to the point where it eases you. There's a lot of readings that I've done so far for the month of April for the rest of the Zodiac where so many of them are resting. Cancer, you're still going. There's a lot of you that's still going. There's a lot of you that's still being ignited and brought to life. I'm leading this revolution. At the same time as I'm saying this, I feel like I almost want to apologize to you on behalf of the rest of the world and the, on behalf of others because they just, they wouldn't be able to do it. Like, and it, it somehow is you're the leader in all of this, which makes sense because you're a cardinal sign, but you end up leading again this movement forward. But it's very important that you take time to, to rest yourself. How do you do this? I feel like you're asking how. Okay. Um, number one, four. So do you have you heard the quote where it says, 
you know, peace starts with the home environment. So you're almost leading by example by setting intention and speaking words of a better life, a better home, a better, this is where I belong, this is my country, this is my home, this is my community, this is my tribe. So you are saying, we don't force our will, we don't force things. We speak them into existence, we plant the seeds, we tend to them, we care for them, we watch them grow, we don't rush the process. So that's how you're doing it. You're setting intention, you're speaking out, you are, um, with the magician card here, it's a leader who says, I, I, I know what I want, I know what I see for myself, I'm going to speak out. Some of you guys are really doing like advocacy work or you're speaking out on this greater vision that is that you see for yourself, or on a more personal level, you could be setting intention for what you want in your world, meaning like in your life, um, around you, in your environment, um, how you want your family life to look like, how you want your job to be, how you want your love life to be. These are things that you literally, like it seems like it doesn't impact everyone, but it does. Look, my love. See, meditation and serenity, this is what I'm saying. There's this part of you that really needs meditate. It's like a very private um, replenishment and then public demonstration where you are spending time by yourself. Cancer, I'm having a hard time understanding because I'm not, I can't relate to this reading, but this is your reading. So it's not for me to relate to, but... I don't know how this applies to you. If this makes sense, you have to let me know down in the comments because, see, manifestation. See, Cancer, you are, you are, you're, I'm seeing you really, um, how you can create change. Forgiveness has been showing up for everyone. How you can create change is by you actually writing it down you speaking about like putting it out into the universe because you've been feeling it you've been feeling it really strongly very powerfully and if you put it out there this positive world what you want your world to look like but also the greater greater world um no one no one else's reading was so globally connected as much as yours is cancer and for that again i want to apologize but it's just this you have mastered it, though. Like, whatever it is, you have mastered it. You've mastered compassion. You've mastered leadership. You've mastered not taking advantage of other people. That's That brings me back to what I was saying in the very beginning, that because of you, like, people wouldn't be able to do what they're doing and be able to make moves or to be empowered, to be a leader without you. And somehow you almost give them the recognition for what you have done which is fine but it's I don't I don't I don't I don't mind it I don't think that spirit is saying that it's bad it's helping everyone come together and be connected so um cancer I just feel like you're this gluing force this force that feels what everyone individually is feeling but also you're taking care of your own private life somehow you're able to balance it all somehow you're propelled and still doing it. Um, I'm, I'm seeing you manifesting. Oh, also, your, your angels, your guardian angels are here supporting you. So you're really not in this alone. They're saying just focus. Focus. Focus on what you want. Focus on manifesting. Focusing on creating this world for yourself. Again, it's for yourself, but it's also speaking into existence, setting intention for, for all of us globally. I hate to put the pressure on you. Cancer, but that's that's what's coming through. When I see this card, forgiveness, I feel it has shown up for a lot of people. Other readings, other signs. Um, everyone's pulling the same cards, which showing me that we're all under the same energy. Forgiveness. I was seeing it for other people, the other zodiac signs, where they were forgiving certain people in their lives, or certain things that have happened, or certain aspects of within within themselves. But then. Everything is kind of like falling together because cancer, I feel like you're almost taking that energy, like you've already been there, done that. So you're almost taking this energy and you're bringing, you're setting intention that the earth and energy forgives us. So, and then people individually forgiving certain people in their lives helps to spread that forgiveness all, all the way around, that healing all the way around. 
but Cancer, I'm really seeing that you're setting intention for the globe, for all of us, and how connected all of us are. And I, I, I feel almost uncomfortable saying this, all of this reading to you, because I don't feel like it should be anyone person's responsibility when we have our own lives to take care of and to look after. But that's what's coming through, Cancer. I don't see you neglecting your personal life and your own wishes because you setting intention and those things manifesting because you have the card of manifestation for the month of April. Um, I don't see you having to choose one or the other. I see you getting both of them, but you're just a leader right now. See, look, you have this card that says slow and steady. It's literally what I said um, in the very beginning of your reading. Do not rush to the to the final to, to get to the goal. Take your time to get there. You will get there. We will get there. We're going to get there together. Yeah, you have commitment here, the card of commitment. And then you also have the card of sad embrace. When I see this card, sad embrace for you, Cancer, I feel as though this is what you've been feeling. Like you've almost been coming through as like a filter for the rest of the world. And also you've been filtering your own feelings. You've been going through the mo the, the motions. You've been going through the feelings of everything. Um, I'm, I'm seeing with the card commitment, I'm seeing spirit is by your side committed to you, fully committed to you. Um, but I'm also seeing that you're not meant to do it alone. I feel like you have a really strong um, partnership or union that is to come, come through to you to help you with this. Yeah, see? Hold on. One more card. I feel like Cancer needs one more card. Okay, two more cards. See, my love, you have the card of feelings. You really have been feeling not only your feelings, but the, the weight of the world. Like the feelings of the, the rest of the world. I'm really getting that strong sense for you. And it has been overwhelming for you but at the same time you're not crippled by it like you haven't been crippled by it this when this card striving comes up this is the next card that came for forward for you it ends slow and steady this is not about you doing it all um this is which contradicts everything that i said i know but let's hear me out this is when spirit says i'm with you I'm helping you. Don't do it all by yourself, whatever that thing is. Um, when it comes to your relationships, all relationships, um, you don't want to like push it along. You want to give everything to the divine. You want to give everything to the universe. You want to give it the space to kind of unfold. When we're striving, it's because we're trying too hard. And with slow and steady and sad embrace, this is about really connecting with, with God, with the universe, with the divine, and allowing those feelings to pass through you, setting intention and moving methodical with like easy, effortless, um, genuinely. I don't know why that's the word genuine, but just um, why that word came through genuine. But it's like not racing to get there, not making things happen overnight. Let it, give it to the divine, give it to the universe to sort it all out, but set intention. There's a difference between striving and thriving. There's a difference between striving and manifesting and setting intention. So striving is when you like want something to be and you do everything in your power to make it so. Then we have those who you know you want something to be a certain way you set intention and you allow it to manifest. So that's what it is I'm seeing. I don't I don't see for the month of April, I think that you shouldn't expect perfection of yourself, of others, of this world. It's meant to kind of be messy first. That is genuine. I think that's why the word genuine came through. That is genuine, is that it's not always a neat completed cycle. Sometimes it's kind of twisty and turny. And that's what I'm seeing, Cancer, for you. Now let's go ahead and talk about your love life. Um, what's going on for Cancers in the love department?
felt the need to just give all of that. Okay, first thing, wow, deception. Then we have let go of control issues. Then we have new love. So this is where it brings me back to what I was saying before of there's difference between striving and trying and then setting intention, manifesting, letting it go and letting it happen, allowing it to happen. Um, letting go of control issues is really about allowing things to flow, allowing things to happen, allowing them to come together, to unfold truly naturally. Deception is, I feel like this, this card is not for everyone. I'm actually getting a sense that it's for specific people. When you kind of know, it kind of confirms things that you have already been feeling. Especially with all the cards that I was picking up before for you when it came to feelings. Like you were dealing with everything that's going on in the world. And then you're also dealing with what's going on in your personal world. And with the deception card, it almost confirms something that you've been feeling, that you've been sensing. And instead of allowing it, like giving it up to the divine and giving it up to spirit, you've kind of been trying to help it along and to give it energy. And that should not be the case anymore. Um, the other thing that I'm getting with deception is not everything is what it seems. So it can feel like it's a lost cause, but in reality, it's just transforming into some type of newness. And I feel like for, for some of you guys, you are canceling out um, energy, people who you are stuck on, people that, or certain aspects of the relationship that you're stuck on, and you then allow, you stop doing that and you allow for newness to flow through when you let go of old stuff, old baggage. Okay, we have the devil card here. So especially with the deception card, the Ace of Swords is the card of truth. The Hanged Man was reversed, and this is about really resisting, you know, surrendering to the spirit, to surrendering to the divine, to surrendering, surrendering to the unknown. And then Queen of Wands gives you all of your energy, your passion, your life, your power right back to you. So when it comes to your love life, Cancer, I don't know if all of that made sense for you, but it makes sense for me, for you, which is when you really, I, I, it brings me right back. I just see you in this space of leadership and control and power. Um, but there's, there's space, there's things that you can do and there's things that you can't do and things that you shouldn't do. And when that happens, you have to give it up to the divine. You have to let go of your control of the issue and just kind of hang out, just kind of surrender to it. That is the truth. The Ace of Swords always brings the truth. Even as I'm looking at this card, this man is tied up and this woman is tying him up. And the hangman is about being tied up. So, and the devil is our vices, are the things that it is that have a control over us that we have a hard time letting go of um, for good or for bad. So Cancer, take with this reading what you will. I feel like I have to pull an extra card of healing for you guys simply because you've been giving so much to the world or in April you're going to be giving so much to the world. Um, yeah, taking care of your body. Like I said, like I said in the beginning, there's quiet, there's very private, quiet time that is that you're taking and then outside of that you come out and you just dominate. Like you come out and you're a leadership, like guns blazing, you know? Miracles. That's, a, that's what happens when you allow like the feelings to flow through you, when you allow yourself to surrender, when you allow yourself to release, you let go of control issues and you just allow it to flow. Um, that's when the, the, the bonds break. That's when evil energy diminishes. That's when the deception, the veil is lifted. You can see it for what it is, but you can't, that can't happen if you're trying to control everything. At the same time, what you can do is set intention for miracles. Miracles for yourself, miracles to take care of yourself, miracles to feel good, and then you sleep. You surrender to the process and allow those things to manifest. Okay, so um, 
one last message that I want to give to you guys before I say goodbye. Okay, wait. These cards wanted to jump out. It's not as if you need anyone. See what I'm saying? This is what I was what I was what I was, what I was saying. It's like you're doing everything on your own for everyone. Not necessarily a bad thing because you're setting attention, I think, for April um, for healing and the betterment and helping things to progress and to move forward. You're doing it. Um, but at, at the same time, I feel like you have to take care of your body. You have to take care of yourself in that space. Back to what I was saying. There's this time that you're taking, this private time that you're taking for yourself. And then there's this time where you come out into the world and you just dominate. Like you, you are a leader. You are sharing your gifts with everyone, you're mastering it, you're leading this revelation. Then create space for new love. You have new love twice. You have new love twice, Cancer. So there's new energy coming in. I'm also getting the sense of discernment. Cancer, if there's one card, if there's one can if there's one sign that knows about that, it's you. You've learned a lot about discernment and you've, you've almost mastered discernment and you've, you've mastered the feelings of the heart and um, intuition. And because of that, that's what makes you such a strong leader because other people look to you in ways that they haven't mastered it themselves. So you can put it out there and set intention for new life, new love to enter in. Things that is that you love, things that give you healing, Things that give you um, purpose and joy and pleasure. Look, new ideas. So you have the card new ideas, laughter. These are things the universe wants to give you. They want trust. The universe wants you to trust and past life healing. This brings me back to let go of control issues. This allows any issue of the past, any problem of the past, if you surrender it to spirit and allow it to heal, it will be healed. All you have to do, honestly, is just be true to yourself right now. Honor your feelings. Honor your power. Step into this. Be open to new love. Let go of control. And healing and miracles will occur. So I hope that that reading makes sense. Cancer, I want to invite you to go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. I also go live every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the YouTube platform for Astro Chat Live, where I talk about all of what's going on in the planets and how that can impact you and influence you and how it will impact you and influence you. And also, you, you can connect with the Bahati Vibe Tribe. Um, yeah, I want to thank you again for watching. I hope that this video made sense, made sense and that it resonated with you. And I look forward to talking to you again in one of the videos in the future. Talk to you soon. Bye.